Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, VXP weekend. Um, and surprisingly, we did get some uh, lionfish VXP targets. Um, uh, well, garrison. They're not really lionfish targets. And uh, we'll talk about the uh, engineering diary. And wherever else, uh, open mic. The link is in the right hand side in case you'd like to join. Let's say hello to everybody. Uh, Magic Mike. Hello to everybody. Uh, the Saint. Good day, everyone. And KB. Good morning, good morning. Okay. Uh, there we go. For those looking for the laser scope, buy the ECM crates in FM level one and scrap the hulls. Very good. Uh, no. uh, you don't no. even you don't even have to scrap the hull. All you have to do is just take the ECM off it if you. Yeah, but if you already <laughs> have if you already have a, a hull that's at uh, at X one, uh, you don't need another one that's at uh, U zero, right? Um, well, the the crates in uh, the FM give you a full fleet. Yeah. But, uh, so if if you have intentions of, or you you've got a full you've got a full shipyard, but you can just uh, you can just take the uh, laser scope off and save the ships for another day to, to scrap. Yeah, yeah. If you want to scrap them later, I think a lot of people that watch the show already have uh, already have uh, X one photons, and so. Uh, you know, it's just extra dock space. But yeah, if you want the resources at a later date, and your shipyard's empty, um, but there's also uh, things that you need the photon still for, isn't there? Isn't there a uh, well? A, if, if you have my TLC yeah. around, no, the TLCs are better done with the uh, was it the reclaimer? Or whatever it is, it's faster and it way less damage. Um, it's not really worth it. The only thing is, if you have mics where you could hit the uh, the one ninety FM targets for seventeen minutes. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't find the flakes that could do that. <laughs> they I, I don't know what sort of hacking he's doing, but I got about an hour and a half. <laughs> they changed that about uh, you know an hour or so know, after. About forty-five into, minutes later. But you know what? It's your fault, Mike. It's your yeah, fault. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Well, I figured I'd I finished that. my FM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've ended up finishing mine too with uh, hitting the. Yeah. And, and I don't have to claim. Um, Two of the uh, <laughs> the laser scopes as well. Yeah, right. Um, but I, I I think it was only taking like an hour after they made the change. But I got like four or five in for the you know instant repair in the dock. But that is no longer a reality. So. No, that one time I went in there, I said, "Wait a minute!" I saw the bar go down like big time. I said, what hit me? Where did I? Where did that come from? That's Why it. is everyone scrapping halls when it's seventy? Well. Um, <clears throat> In price in uh, tier five, well, you can claim two per um, you can claim two per week, so it's going to take you three weeks in order to get enough. Um, the pillage is going to be on the third week, so you won't be fully outfitted at that point in time. So, um, unless you know, like I said, unless you need an extra uh, photon fleet. And don't already have one um, that is higher at a higher upgrade level. There's really no reason to, to keep them around. Um, that's you know because you need to get um, well, you need to get four of them at this point. Well, and probably if, five. Well, five eventually. You'll need not, it for the flag. Yeah, but, but I'm talking about as far as the uh, uh, Mike. Uh, since we're talking about this, do you want to go to slide seven? Okay, um, we'll get the flagship in the September raid. So that's not time constraint. The time constraint part would be the next pillage, which you would have time using the FM to get four. Um, so there you go.
Um, um, but yeah, so we have, we have time to get the fifth one. Um, so, um, let's, let's go, let's go back to the, uh, I don't know, see if anybody has anything they want to say about the bug fixes. Um, we talked about these on Wednesday. Um, they all seem good. Um, does, uh, um, anybody have any, any thoughts, anything you want to add on any of these? Yeah, I think as you say, they're all good little, good little changes, especially adding things like the projectile speed to the stat block and stuff like that. It's just information we should always know. So mm -hmm. it would have been handy to have known about the relay code beforehand. <laughs> It's one I'd never, never actually heard of. Someone relocating whilst being attacked. <laughs> Something you never got a chance to try. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a bit pissed off about that. Yep. You could have, you could have pissed off a lot of people by, uh, you know. Exactly. Yep. Buying a bubble until you have the ability to relocate, then talking trash in comms, then having them hit you, and then relocate halfway through. It just, it just seems like a master plan to me. Um, hey, TSM, how are you doing? Evening, gents. How are you? Oh, Hi, TSM. Just dandy. All right, let's uh, move forward. All right, we are in uh, VXP weekend, and then we also have an additional TLC, which I have a slide for later. We'll talk about that in a second, which seems to be more damaging than expectations. It's pretty but painful. You're not bloody wrong there, mate. Mm -hmm. I'm pissed off about that one. Yeah, but as far as VXP weekend, um, does anybody, I guess anybody that's not all the way ranked or whatnot, we can talk about it. Um, Mike was uh, got going early and let me know that the, the 90 and 91 are not providing as much VXP as they did last time, at least if you hit them with your uh, lionfish. So um, it appears, even though it's a painful approach, I, I've gotten the time down a little bit is to go into the uh, the 30 target which is the garrison target it's one of the it's it's one of it's the 180 something basically um, and then kill everything but the buildings and then you go in there and um, use your lionfish to kill the buildings and you don't take any damage um, I was um, the way I did it to limit damage is I brought a bunch of exterminators in there and split them up going into different parts of the map because they are so freaking slow once they hit an ice patch. Yeah, tell me about it. I, I tried it with uh, with one sky saber and uh, it took a fair while to, to kill all the bloody stuff. Yeah, it's mainly because of the ice patches. So what I did is I would send one ship to this area, another ship to this area, boom, boom, boom. So they were, I wasn't taking my whole fleet to, to go through all the freaking ice patches. And that got it down to about seven minutes to prep it. If I kept them all together, it was closer to 10 minutes to prep it. Yeah, they, well, I gave, I gave up on that and uh, I just took me... Uh, Sky Saber into a 90 or 91 and killed off all the big stuff and then just sent the sent the lion fish in on auto. Mm -hmm. And how many points were you getting on that? Yeah. Oh, it took me it took me the full full hour on the salty to uh, <coughs> to get it uh, up to 74 percent. So I had to I had to kill one more after that to uh, top them off. So I'm not mistaken, still, I was only getting like 2,300 points or oh, something. Oh, I, I got 170. Well, I wasn't using a... I got 170,000. Per target? Per target? Um, I'm not sure how many 
how many I hit, but I killed off virtually all the all the little ones. But they they were taking a fair while to to whittle them down. How many times did you have to go in, though? Oh, I went in two two or three different ones. I'm trying. I don't think I saved it. Like I I left them out there for a little while, so (sighs) when I put it in. You know, I was a bit surprised that 170,000 VXP didn't really do a hell of a lot to it either. Well, because you need 400,000 in order to, right, to... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I know I needed a hell of a lot of VXP, but as I said, it, it took me one one salty dog to get the 74%. With, without a crew, I went in with two... And, and I came out with after the fifteen minutes twenty three hundred and eighty five VXP. That's all I got out of two. I got I still got the little uh, clip. That's uh, your fleet earned two thousand three hundred eighty five VXP points. Right, well, that I was got fifteen more. minutes with no crew. But the, the the thirty target gives a lot of points and does very little damage. You only have to shoot a few times and you get a few thousand points. And that's without a, a crew on. And I've it, are you saying without a prep? Without a prep? Oh, I'd have to try that. Uh, okay, so do you want to do you want to show us what you're talking about? Yeah, I'll show you. Can Give you? me thirty seconds because I've just. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm, just wondering what, I, I'm just trying to figure out what the because the Mike's method on the thirty is it's uh, not enjoyable, um, but it, it does provide a, um, a good amount of points for for no damage um yeah give us a few going and pop on a i was using trenchers and just going down the you know staying off the ice fields as much as i can i left them grouped up and yeah it was it was tedious to prep it out but then then you just throw the, the line yeah well, that's, that's the why water. i like your sword out on the, that's, the 80, that's interesting the 90 <laughs> or 91s let me know when you're ready, Saint. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready now. I should have shared. Okay. All right. I'll get you on full screen. Very good. Okay, so this is my lionfish. I've literally only got two weapons on this. I've got no crew on this at the moment. So I've already ranked a couple of lionfish with them. Um... So, and this one's even got no engine on, so it's a little bit slow getting down now. Now, the first two were a lot quicker because they had five or six weapons on. Um, Why didn't you do them all at once? Oh, I did, but because this one's got less weapons on, it um, it's slower to rank. Yeah. So I've just dropped the other two off now. Now, again, are you driving this? Oh, I've just driven it to there to stop it. So it gets shot at. And it looks like it's doing very little damage. And... And this is just a demonstration, so uh, I'll let it just 20 seconds or something. Uh, Somebody's watching you. I have one that's fully ranked. and So that should be just around instant repair. Oh, yeah, if the bar hasn't moved, it's... No. But you could you probably can... lose nearly a quarter of it and still be... But you'll be surprised how many points you get for just doing that. Well, I sure wasted a lot of time, then. <laughs> and the other thing I noticed is... I was doing uh, Mike's method after he told me, and it seems like we might be limited again by the in and out type of thing because um, he was showing me numbers for two ships, and I had numbers for four ships, and I was always pretty much double him accounting for crews and whatnot, you know, normalizing for the crews. So there you go, eight and a half thousand. Okay. With no crew. Okay. Instant repair. 
you put a crew on, there's 25,000 per hit, and uh, you'd be done 20 minutes, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. How far built is that? Because I'm that, having a totally different experience here. That, that's got two weapons on, that's it. This is unbelievable. Okay, uh, and that's in the 30, right? That's in the 30, yeah. Okay, I just put one fully ranked in. Well, you won't yeah. get any points did, if it's fully ranked. This, well, I'm not looking for points. I was looking to see. Yeah, it'll still tell you how many VEGs, but you can't no, even just, no, no, don't. No, 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 he's got zero. <laughs> no, right. one, but, but what I wanted to see is... How much damage you took? Yeah, and I only... I didn't well, he didn't really kill that much. I didn't no, kill I, anything. You barely damage it, yeah. You barely yeah. damage it, and uh, well, I mean, we can, you, when you put me back on, I can. Well, you don't put me back on. Again, yeah, because he like half killed one. So yeah, but that's, that was already damaged anyway. I've I've hit these fifteen okay. times, sort of thing, to um to rank okay. up the other two. Well, I took seven minutes and eighteen seconds damage just sitting there for about ten seconds. Yeah, I was. And I it's got. Um, to, to try a, a 30 because I didn't trust kicks. See, that's. I wonder why. Maybe they've turned them down too. Yeah, but between. And mine's yeah, got uh, engine and four weapons. We're 15 hours ahead of you. We, we got our power turned down earlier. Well, tell me what the, <laughs> tell me what the stock market's going to do on <laughs> Sunday night, will you? When I... So that's that's how I've done my three ships at the moment. and it's. I'm not getting that same experience. That's kind of weird. But maybe it's because they're... No. It shouldn't matter whether they're ranked or not, how much damage they take, right? No. Well, you would take less no. damage. Because, you should yeah. take less damage, yeah. Well, how did that get... I have an engine and four four weapons on it and took yeah. that 7 minutes, 18 seconds damage for almost no time in the target. So what's different about it? Uh, the only thing I can think is, have you, have you got all four there? What do you mean all four there? I just there went was, in with there, one. There was, sorry, there was four turrets. So you would have yeah, they, yeah, it was a fresh target. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I think I did get a little bit more damage, and I had to come out a bit quicker. But but then I had three ships then, so I was um, I was getting more VXP. So well, this should be about the same amount, I would have thought. Where am I thinking wrong here? Yep. So there you go, seven and a half again. Okay. So we yeah, if you, if you had three or four ships in there, and you put a um, and you put a double sortie on, you would uh, be there pretty quickly. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you don't even need to do the. Uh, well, um, at the end, I was getting. Where is this? Well, that's the. Yeah, I'm looking for that clip I had. Screenshot. Yeah. Okay, um, so that seems to be a fairly efficient way to do VXP timelines and whatnot, because um, that was with no crew. So, so a thirty-one with no crew and uh, prepped, I had twenty-one thousand six hundred and thirty with two, two ships in it. I'm in the war and I where's no damage. I'm not really sure what's going on, Josh. Um, I'm okay. confused. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Well, he's also getting dam uh, 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 some amount of damage points as well. Um, it's not purely offensive like with the other ones. So that potentially could be part of the, I don't know. I've already done limited things with it, but mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, you know, because you are getting some amount of points that way, but I don't really think it would, should swing it by that much. It should be the amount of damage you would take. I'm assuming it's only probably i assume less than 10 percent of the vxp is uh through damage if even that well i just sent three in that are fully ranked and uh took a minute's worth of damage to kill that first set of turrets okay uh, what's uh what's the build um i got fully oh, okay 
fully equipped with weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay. And specials. Okay, just no armor. That must be your driving, Mike. Well, I don't guess well, uh, his driving on Wednesday was great in the one night. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was feeling pretty. Uh... Yeah, so I couldn't replicate the one ninety. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It takes yeah. a special skill to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, so is Mike giving me driving lessons? Is that what I heard? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, you know. It's, Are uh, you? Well, we we, we we did the driving lessons for Derpy on uh, mm -hmm. was it last Friday's show? What, what was the? Uh, we yeah, we can go. yeah, I think it well, was. This is, it was the special show, actually. Oh, it was yeah. a Sunday show. Yeah, it was a Sunday show. Mm -hmm. uh, we were hitting the raid targets. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right, next week is Bounty um, <clears throat> for Voting Seas, which is going to give you um, five upgrade tokens for your Harbingers. And then the following week, we will have Pillage, and the participation prize is going to be... Um, uh, one more Harbinger upgrade token. So that is enough to take a uh, ship from U2 to U3 or a uh, ship from uh, U3 to X1 if you have the right level intelligence lab because it's five days, 18 hours. So just factor that into your strategy as far as putting the, you know, building your lionfish versus upgrading your Harbingers that you just between those two actions, uh, doing the uh, foreboding seize TLC, uh, participating in bounty, you will have a free upgrade from U2 to U3 or U3 to X1. So don't spend any time um, that you don't need to be, uh, for that. You know, but again, it's only one ship, and um, but just consider that so you don't end up with there's no reason to have extra harbinger upgrade tokens when this is all over so um <clears throat> let's uh i guess we'll move on i hope the next one uh we don't have to talk about dark and anybody want to talk about dark Roman again let's actually go to the tlc which is slide um, 10. All right. Um, I've only done encounter one of prize pack one and it took 50 minutes on auto. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not motivated at this point in time to do the rest of it um and i stopped has anybody gone beyond that and no I've, I've done prize packs one and two mm -hmm. i think i ended up with about two and a half hours and i was driving a little bit i wasn't not just authoring oh, two and a half hours of damage doing both prize packs no that was prize pack one okay and i did go a little bit um gung-ho doing prize pack two because it was before i went to bed and I ended up with about six hours of damage. Okay. But there was still, there was a couple of those that we've done before for 20 minutes, 15 minutes damage, and I was getting 45, 50 minutes damage a target. Um, now, I could have probably brought that down a little bit, but not huge amounts, I don't think. I just think the damage has turned way up on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll agree to that. I gave up after prize pack one. I've already got Abomination, so it wasn't... Mm -hmm a great deal to me but still you don't expect to be taking that much damage although it, it's going to be nice to have the abomination build tokens when we presumably have to make changes to them yeah well i don't know that i want to do it when i'm gonna be taking that much damage <laughs> yeah I'll josh you i assume you're doing this with everest and um, and then dropping the bunker buster on the uh, the middle. Uh, the I think middle. He was using um, he was using some fully ranked um, lionfish because he was right beside my base. Yeah, he's okay, got a full I, set. Yeah. Okay, because I know ice is uh, ice has been getting. I, I think actually, 
He's been getting less. He's been getting instant repair in the dock, as I recall, with Everest, and then bunker bustering the the center um, missile. Yeah, he didn't that. Uh, yeah. Okay, with lionfish. Okay, because that bunker buster isn't cheap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not. You know. Um. Yeah, because he found the advantage on the Everest was it's able to outrange. Why don't you give it a shot with uh, Everest, uh, Josh? It might you might actually trim your damage down because you're able to uh, you're able to snipe out the uh, the rockets. Yeah, the rock if you're rocket. very careful. Yeah, because it's basically just just on the maximum range. You know, yeah. you gotta you gotta stop short and then sneak up on it, so to speak. Have we gone over how to hit the VXP targets? Um, yeah. I mean, unless you you gotta uh, um, basically just hit a little bit of that front middle with the lionfish in the in the thirty. Front middle and the lionfish. Okay, I'll I'll go find a one thirty and try that. I gotta rank mine up, so that's why I'm asking. Oh, 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 oh you don't okay. Yeah, we actually did it uh, about... Uh, in the 30 or the 130? 30. 30. Hmm, that's a low number. Yeah, yeah. It's, you, don't, uh, you don't need to hit it for very long. You don't need to be doing much damage to it. Just hit it for 10, 15 seconds. You can uh, fully rank all four ships without killing one target. Yeah. That's Easy. nice. Yeah, I, I, would re um, I would rewind about, I don't know, how long ago? Eight minutes? Five, five minutes. Okay, five minutes, and then watch what uh, the saint just did. Well, it. I'm I'm not rewinding, so I'm just going for it. <laughs> okay. Don't Do kill more than four damage? turrets. Four <clears throat> turrets, and then leave, basically. Well, you don't even need to kill. It didn't even look like you need to kill four turrets, and that was one of the questions I had. Is it appears that we are encounter limited again as far as VXP. That I think the max that you can get. Um, without a crew, it appears to be somewhere just over 10,000 VXP uh, for pure offense. Um, probably 20, including defense, I, you know, including damage taken. I'm not certain, but it, um, from what I've seen so far, it appears that there is um, a limit again as far as how much v VXP you can get per encounter. So uh, I'm going to go this right. You can take this as being very cautious, but if I was you, I'd go in and try it for like 30 seconds and come out and see what you got. And then you, you don't can have make to kill it, the turrets, mate. You can, you can make it just. Yeah, yeah, you can probably go away now. You can probably really? go back underwater. Yep, yep. Yeah, get the hell out of there. And then yeah. just go back in again and keep just so doing do these that. guys detect me when I'm underwater? Yes. Yeah, so so, so get out of the. When they get, get close, yeah. Yeah, you need to retreat and then. Well, out of this, out of this. Well, because I don't think you're going to. play around with the target later. This is I, an Everest target, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which mm -hmm. is a little, yeah. That's a bit. Do what I did, it, yeah. Derp did what I did. It took a little bit of time and effort. Was I took the my trenchers in there and I Got basically cleared everything. No, I cleared the whole target except for those yellow, what are, lava oh, pools, guys. whatever the, the hell they are. are. So yeah, and the main building, building, and then I just put it on auto and let it kill. Yeah, but you know, that's, the targets that's were in there. Getting, um, so much okay, VXP, get, back here. okay. Well, you got up. Oh, you got more than a, but it should be instant repair on the dock. I'm assuming. Yeah. Well, I expect that's the difference, Mike. I expect there's less VXP in those. Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. One thirty-one. Oh, I got, I got one seventy-one on my first hit. There we go. Well, I, I, I ain't got I've any been like uh, four hours doing my specials on these guys. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't all... need to hit. You don't need to kill a whole target. It's it's easy to do. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's all I had. I was just gonna. We can go back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> <laughs> I sat here feeling like I had a contribution to the show. <laughs> you did. You said hit the thirty. It's funny. Yeah, <laughs> but I hit it a whole different way. Believe me. <laughs> Uh, you got time on your hands, Mike. You're okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I got that much time. Is there something you're not telling us? No, it's, it's fairly unknown, you know. 
I was testing all kinds of different things. I said, I'm going to try and figure this one out myself. And, and I just, went. and what you did work, you, you solved the problem. You, well, it worked. you I, your did, things up. I did lose the fleet the first time because I forgot uh -oh. about those dumb riots that come in on, on the time. And I went and walked away for a minute, came back and the fleet was dead in the dock. I said, what the, So I did spend a couple of coin to get one back on the road until. Is uh, this way you can sit just right there? Don't go in the zone of the, uh, you know, the um, HT turrets, and then just exit yeah. again. I'd get on now, so you have a map repair. I didn't even go back to the dock. I just did this about ten times. Went back to the dock, and that was about it. And you had like an hour repair or whatever. Yeah, about that. I just let fix in slow time then. That's a strange way to pronounce coin it, but okay. But your OCD <laughs> doesn't get you. Well, I'll, I'll keep doing this. <laughs> so, uh, I also uh, I scrapped my free photons that from the Forsaken mission. I scrapped those from, from my laser scope. And the Everests and everything I have. Yeah. Well, you didn't like that 17 minutes for the 190 time? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's, I tried my free float on free float on. Not my not my X one fleet. I they don't even know. I don't, I don't do even that anyway anymore. I scrapped and couldn't be bothered to go and get the res to build these darn things because they, they eat res like it's going out of fashion, don't they? So. I haven't even. Um, yeah, I scrapped something to build those. I haven't even redeemed all the new fleets in the Forsaken mission. Like the last three that they've given, I, I haven't got them. Well, there's no point, really, is there? It's just. Oh. They're just reso, reso collectors, that's all they are. Yeah, that's it. Well, unless you haven't got them, that is. Wow, another 130,000 doing way less, doing way less. So that's interesting. Yeah, it does seem like we're limited. Yeah, I just didn't dock. I just basically went out, went in, went out, went in. That but you it. just go in, take a couple of hits, go out, come back in, mm -hmm. take a couple of hits. Go straight go back out. in again. Yeah, yeah, don't even dock. Yeah. I tried to prove that at the end, but uh, I waited too long and I ended up sculled. So it, my test didn't tell, tell anything. I mean, if you have full set of weapons... You can actually go around and kill the whole target. I got a full set of weapons, but no. You don't, you don't benefit of it. You no damage ships dealing up. specials. I'd go uh, all right now. No way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. See what you get. And see well, if they. Uh, it's probably going to be enough to rank it up anyway. Huh. I was going to say, see if they prove the, prove the theory. You're, you're being Mike's pony now. No, Mike's done. <laughs> why, why do I have weird things sticking up out of the side of the water? It's it, it's as a whole. It's not connected. Yeah, it's connected to the. Oh, you're well. Now it now it is the when wing you're, right, right here. It's, now it's, it's trying not. to it's trying to show its now it is. It's still. a shadow. Now it's is... not. Isn't it a wing that partially is underwater? Yeah, it's like uh, a looks wing. looks like that. Okay. Nearly there. Oh my gosh. There you go. So you hit that for about five seconds and got 100,000 points. That's a pretty good deal. Mm. How long did you take, Mike? Do you? Uh, I'll tell the truth. I started at noon and I finished probably around four o'clock, something like that. But I was. We did watch a film. I'm, not, too, I'm yeah? not making any excuses. I was trying to figure it out on my own. Yeah. And I suspect uh, what they've done, though, is I bet, I bet there's more. VXP points in the turrets than there is in the um, in the buildings that don't cause you any damage. And the other thing, I started trying just to do those ships in the one nine in the nine. Oh yeah, that horrible nineteen. Yeah, the, the you don't 90, get crap yeah. out of there. So I said, okay. I kept well, I kept well away from that. I must admit. Yeah. yeah. So I watched somebody was doing this target, and I said, mm, geez, he's getting plummeted. I said, so I don't know. I wonder if the trenchers will go in there and prep it out. And so I tried that, and it did. So I said, okay, i got to leave buildings because that's where all the VXP is. So I 
rode around and tried to save as many buildings as I could, and then went in and wiped them up with uh, my lions, and it worked, and that's what I did. And I, I think the issue, I, you know, I don't know if um, anybody wants to test it. I think there's a limit um, on how much VXP you can earn um, per encounter, retreat, go back in, da 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 da. I think you're right. Because okay. we can't. thought that disappeared for a while, but it appears to be back. So you need to do minimal damage in order to do it. And so, what was probably happening, Mike, with uh, your approach was you were probably, if you'd gone in and out, you know, 10 times, you might have gotten 10 times the VXP. Yeah. No, I agree. I, d I do agree. I okay. I did one run where I, I went and that killed one, one building It'll and came out. 10 minutes. I know. That's okay. I don't feel bad. Okay. Um, now that we've gone on the VXB uh, back, uh, has anybody done Prize Pack 3 or f uh, the Mastery? It, it, it feels... No, I've not touched it. It feels like way way too much damage for, you know, the pay up, payback. So... Um, Let's see what else we've uh, we've might have missed. Um, go to slide five, uh, Mike. All right, we've seen multiple approaches on the 190. Um, a lot of them have used the bunker buster. Um, I've heard of people using Everest, and then um, uh, Josh is. I think it's yeah. Josh is doing it with. Um, it appears to be close to fully kitted out. Uh, uh, he's, he's got um, the classic Everest armor on his um, unreasonable build. And yeah, I, I think he's just trying to learn the target, basically. But I know he got down to 22 minutes, so instant dot repair. So. Yeah. But I think he's concentrating on training and teaching himself to use the new fleet as opposed to relying on his Everest. I think that's what he's trying to do. Okay. No, 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 that's but, a good way but, to do but it. yeah, um, yeah, if they're that far developed, if they're that far, yeah, yeah, exactly. Was yeah. that relying, was that using the bunker buster? Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure. I know he was, I know he's toy yeah, yeah, yeah. and things. He did use the bunker buster on one, I saw that, and for I, the 22 I, minute, yeah, for the 22 minute one, yeah, I think because okay. it's normably around about an hour, I think, for ones that's fitted like with armor, an hour so. and a half or something with the photons, which, yeah, um. Because yeah, not everybody else, not everybody has you know a pretty much fully kitted out lionfish fleet. So, oh, they, talking about lionfish and things, Ian, I, I said therapy, mate. How how many garrison tokens do you reckon it was in the end? For for what left left over from last time? You remember you said about I oh, yeah I was trying I was thinking about that I was like twenty one like, I, I saw you had the video I'm like ah. I bet you DSM you guys all the. I, I, I had twenty eight left over. <laughs> I was going for thirty, maybe thirty three. Close there, well done. Yeah, yeah. So I've done everything, but um, no arm. I'm not putting arm wrong because I'm going to wait for pillage and that sort of stuff. So I'm not. Uh, I'm not putting. Man, the, what are you building this month? No, I've got nothing to build. I don't know what to do with the tokens. <laughs> well, except for um, I give them I, away. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, let's go back to. I think to slide nine. Uh, no, not slide nine. Um, slide seven. I read all the notes, but I can't remember when he said the armor. It was like pillage he, or something or other. Well, he said or pillage, pillage, and then um, September, which month? September, 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 so September and a half. And and then I um, I asked Peter what was it was Drake right or they're just keeping him in the dark, mm. and he said they're. Um, I was kind of mean to you. <laughs> whatever I am um, but you know and then he said they're undecided on the armors so oh, okay. usually been... usually the CM tells me things are undecided when the design team has already decided it not the other way around well, yeah. didn't, we have, didn't we have the old armors on the uh, Everest for yeah. a while yeah, we yeah I just can't be bothered to do that this time, I mean, there's enough good <clears throat> targets out there still, like the 186, that you can just go and auto if you want to with your Everest anyway. If they're, if they're good, so I'm just but doing if that. Your chip here is not doing squat. Why? Why? Uh... 
Because oh, then you've got to take them off. And then well, got it doesn't, it doesn't cost, cost, cost it doesn't anything. Cost no, it's, just, anymore. It's, the, it's the principle. Yeah, but what if I, I, it's the principle. And, and what if I find something in Bounty I want to build? And, I, you know, and I've got to go and use my concrete yard, which then costs titanium. And I can't be bothered with that either. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a lazy pirate. I'm you know surprised you, can't, you can be bothered to play the bloody game, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you can. You use autos everything, right? <laughs> I do. <laughs> they built the lionfish just for me because they know it's going to be an auto fleet. <laughs> so, Which I'm very yeah. happy with. <laughs> yeah. yeah they, I mean, I'm, I, not sure, I'm not sure about like the tuna the, fish. I don't like the bloody things at all. I reckon the mechanics shit. <laughs> I think it's quite clever in some respects, but we'll see what they're like when they're fully oh, done. Oh, yeah, but look at, look at those bloody rocket turrets. You know, what's what's the point of having something that stays underwater and then you've got to fucking stop in front of them and just take the damage because you can't bloody dro do a drive-by or anything. Yeah, well, you can't. You have to stop because you right. can't You can't shoot while moving. That's exactly. It, they named us yeah, like, well, yeah, they named yeah, us wrong. Yeah. should be the sitting duck rather than the lionfish. So you, you've got to take you got to take damage to do anything. Are you, are you telling me they're making us take damage automatically? No. <laughs> Not no you, there's you there's no way boy. of sort of really driving them to you can uh, you can you can sort of stop minimize. start stop start because i was doing some of that earlier on which was funny and so you can like jitter them across this sort of like battle space and then they don't actually submerge but it it's got damn annoying seconds to, do, to submerge though yeah they yeah, do take a couple seconds to go down so, like so that their projectile lands yeah the so most, you can yeah go on. yeah the, the, the most uh th uh, you know uh, the special that i think everybody is like worried about is because of the mechanic that you both were talking about is damage diffusion system two. Yeah, I put that on. And yeah, and yeah, I haven't. I must admit, I'm, I'm, I've given it. A, I've given it a bit of a risk. So yeah, yeah. I, I, in my builds that I'm looking at, I am not putting it on either because because of the mechanic, you yeah. have to go up, pop up, stay stationary while rockets are firing at you. You can't move on your own in order to create, uh, you know, with the mechanic of a, uh, damage, you know, splash damage diffusion, you need to be uh, provide a, some amount of distance between you and the epicenter of the explosion that occurs that creates the splash. Mm -hmm. But if you're forced to stay stationary pretty much, or somewhat stationary, you can't really like drive by them, have it fall behind you, because then you're you're submerging again and not firing. Mm. That's where I agree with uh, KB that I the the the, uh, the whole mechanism doesn't make a lot of sense. It, it does if you don't drive and you just sit, sit there and watch it. Because then, if it autos, actually, it does make sense because it's driving up to the closest target. It's then popping up, hitting it. The target's dead. It then moves on, submerges again, goes to the next one, then pops up again, and then hits it. And 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 if you you just basically sit there with a beer watching it do when it, you're you know? when you're stopped shooting at something, splash damage reduction isn't working. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. So damage the, the the yeah the damage diffusion system too. So, so there's no benefit to it. Yeah, basically, yeah. unless yeah, there's high spread and low splash, which is why I didn't. I haven't fitted it. You know, it's one of the main reasons because and and it, and, it, and it makes it uh, as a. Uh, um, you know, on your show, you know, your past show, it does, it makes it a little chubby. They tend to go overweight when you put damage diffusion system. Uh, well, the you know, well, my it? question is this, why is this, um, why is this rocket hole doing penetrative damage? Why yeah. is it a submarine in garrison? I mean, it's just, there's yeah. so many, so many asks in this, but uh, do you know what, if they're going to really, you mess the law up then why not do it in the fm so yeah and why, why not do it all the way let's not just do once let's make like seven different changes to it i think they should have been underwater sub, um uavs anyway not not missing oh my god <laughs> 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 submerged well, uavs would be funnier yeah that, that would mess be... people's heads completely mess of it might as well yeah, like yeah it. so it's like you know yeah yeah i mean i was hoping for more of a reaper type design where it could launch missiles from underwater mm. and that would you know then you could make that would give you a great that would give a, a great way to make driving 
have lower damage than auto. Yeah, and, and would, it would sort of be you had you know like assume you had to keep moving and whatnot. Well, you should be you should be getting some payback for being a, for driving the target rather than autoing. Yeah, um, it's not quite what I wanted. Not, yeah, auto should not be the only way to do it. If but you, I, I, if you yeah. take the time to drive a target, you should be getting some benefit for driving. I think the only way you're going to do that is if you can stagger the ships and take them in in, in, in staggered formation sort of stuff, you know. Well, Particularly when you get close to the ones that fire rockets, because that makes a huge difference. It only targets one ship then, as, as opposed to targeting all four. So, But who knows yeah, what the flag's going to bring? But uh, even with them targeting one ship, they're, they're still going to have a, have a splash effect. So, you know, <clears> more <throat> often than not, the rest of your ships are going to get hit as well, aren't they? Depends Unless the you're... A splash, yeah. Unless you're going to spread them out so far as to, then you're only using one ship to to kill a turret. Basically, I mean, I tried to show that in that video I did, but I tried to get the you know that top ship that was in the corner by itself. You know, just tried to show the sort of like put a box around it, which is difficult with four ships, you know. But so that because they're split in a different sort of like in a semicircle, sort of like you know with an arc basically behind the one that's getting fired on. Then basically, hopefully, the splash. But because I don't know what the splash range is. But hopefully the splash range and isn't so much that it's actually hitting the other ships. But oh, I don't know. It's just plucking plucking ideas out of the sky at the moment. So yeah, that, I'm, I'm not basing anything off of one target. It's just one. Oh, this will probably end up be the lowest level target in the end, and it'll be the everyone will stop whinging. I mean, remember the first Everest came out compared to the Praetorians? Everyone's like, the sky's falling in. It's the end of the game, and it's all going to go horribly wrong. And within like two months, we were all like, yeah, it's not so bad. You know. The other thing I noticed with that little ship that's at the top the top of the target when you first come in near the radio tower hmm. is that little thing's got a secondary weapon on it. Yeah, yeah, so it's missile first and it turns to sort of rocket, doesn't it? Because it's got explosive as well as, um, and I didn't clock that until yeah. I made the video, I don't know why and I didn't clock it, but it does do, do, do yeah, and I even put the, because I, I, I exit, it range yeah. It. Yeah, so it's, I, I think their range is, it looks around about 60 or something, doesn't it, for the rockets? Well, it's the same range as what, as what your missiles are. Mm, funny that, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, and, I, and it, yeah, the 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 the, um, the screen I I created there. I, whilst I exited each time, obviously to get those damage types, I didn't actually clock where I put missile. I should have put missile on a rocket. I, I didn't made an error there because um, obviously I got, took both both types of damage from that one particular ship. Um, although there's definitely a lot more penetrative in the target than there is explosive in this particular target, but it's only the target one of X, isn't it? So, Okay, uh, TSM, you're, uh, you're close to, uh, besides the armor, close to uh, fully kitted out. What, what specials did you did you choose to go with? Uh, hang on two seconds. It's not exactly all my build, but it's a, as ever, I sort of like take ideas and various there is individuals, so... Well, 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 let, let's start. I assume that you went with the capstone for the engine, right? Yeah, because there's nothing else about, is there? So let me just yeah, go. And, I'll just start the up. <laughs> and, and then you went with the battery, the, the garrison battery that it came with. Uh, and, and... Ship, shipyard. So what have I got on it? I've got, uh, yeah, the garrison battery Mark II M. Okay, and, and then what, what did you go? Did you, did you use the CM special? And if so, which one? So I've gone kind of metal loads, uh, loaders for... Okay. As opposed to, um, there's a lot of people going for the limited one, aren't they? The, um, the hydro atomizer, the hydro, yeah. And and yeah, again, you know, you might get a little bit better countermeasure, but you don't get the penetrative reload. But then again, seeing as the missile's got a flat rate reload of six, does that really matter again? Because you're down into the point X, you know, for reload on penetrative. But yeah, the, the, the other thing I thought about was the fact that. You know, you have the trade-off between projectile speed and mm. uh, uh, countermeasure range, and yeah. whether that makes any difference because you do have, I think it's sixty-two versus seventy-five uh, mm. versus range. And let's, uh, uh, Mike, let's go to slide nine on this one. Um, I've really sort of focused on a couple of areas that I think might be important I, projectile speed i think is still important i think as long as you're roughly around 100 120 ish or something like that then you'll probably be okay um 
I saw the projector. I saw the countermeasures doing some good. I wouldn't say they're doing brilliant, but they were doing mm -hmm. some good. I've got my building damage up quite high, but not as high as you could because I wanted to increase the countermeasures as well. So, my building so are damage you is using up. what's your building damage special? K two uh, or missile, high missile missile jets? So I'm using the um, the missile jets. Yeah, okay. that's what I was sort of thinking of, but I haven't done really any research on this target at all. Well, as far as the projectile, because projectile speed is, I don't have a slide for that, but projectile speed is the main advantage for um, high-speed missile jets versus mm. the K2. Because I've got 115 on the on the um, projectile speed now. Yeah, it's the same as I've got. On it seems about, it seemed to be doing, seemed to be doing something, you know. But mm. who's to say you know, the next target will come across and all of a sudden there'll be so much so you know, because when you get this this target, you go around the corner, you know, in the bottom sorry, sorry in the in the right hand arc there at that second gate, and then there's like three or four different things all firing at a different time and and you, the ships just get over. I mean, very I did it with no rank at the time, you know. Um, but the ships get, you know, overpowered very quickly by the amount of stuff that's coming in. And it is very difficult to focus because they've got an overlap of fire arcs there, and it's very difficult to focus on one thing and not get targeted by something else. So you know, I mean, do you split them. Do, do, hard, do, you mind, yeah. do you mind TSM um, hitting the the uh, the 190 with uh, the line? For, you know, people probably are wondering. You know, a lot of people aren't nearly as advanced in the build that if you could show them what it it sort of looks like. Yeah, I can but do. Virtually yeah, with these with these ships, you you're pretty much in the face of the turrets anyway. So, is projectile speed? going to be so much of a of an issue well only only i think that well you see a minute hang on let me just have a look at yeah. where's, where's share I'm, I'm getting the wrong thing in two seconds share screen Let's see if you can see that there we go um let's get rid of that rubbish out of the way oops yeah let's get rid of that Right, okay. Um, so let's find a 190, shall we? If it will do it this way, probably won't, but it'll probably take me miles away. Well, it's not too bad. It could be a lot worse, couldn't it? There's only one closer. There's one here. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, hopefully no one's touched this one, so we'll have a little look. Um, obviously, it doesn't matter which way you enter because you always end up in the top right hand corner so I just tended to click on just the halo missile, or it looks like a halo missile. Anyway. So I just shift clicked on that just to leave it live all the time, just so I know what this, the firing arc is, you know. Um, because that means you can clip off these ones and this and this and this and this and this obviously and that gate there you can't get to him you don't have enough range um i tried that in the video you can't get to that one because you haven't got enough range uh, and none of this stuff over here but this is a bit i was talking about is um this over here is when you're coming down this angle here then it starts getting complex because obviously you have these got a ridiculous range on it and that sort of stuff you know and it's chaining anyway so it's relevant you can knock these two out reasonable when you get around to here this thing starts firing you that one's firing you. he's firing you as well the arc missiles are oh, sorry that the halo missile still firing. and everything's going horribly wrong very quickly and as soon as you get around to the corner around here you might have killed him and obviously ideally him but then this one's firing as well so you know you really want to try and get through and it's decision time to make do you just bust the gate, get through, and try and kill this thing off, which seems to make the most amount of damage for your pen, is the, obviously the Halo missile. Um, and then the other thing I noticed is that you can't get through this. It's not possible. They've made some weird sort of channel here that you can't actually nip around, because I was going to leave some of these things and just drive by quickly. But actually, you'd have to go all the way around the corner and come all the way around here again, which is slightly frustrating. But um, anyway, yeah, so these, I mean, these are ranked now, but there's still no armor, so... Um, Okay, so you spread them out and you deal with the splash. Yeah, it's only a random sort of idea. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but... Mm. Am I bored by somebody? 
I'm just rather than moving too much, I'm trying to make sure I capture two things at the same time. You know, I, I, I mean, as far as the mechanics of the lionfish, I wish the submerged defense was higher because it would add a little bit as far as because you know you were still getting fired at before you submerged, right? Yep. So and that's the yeah. The interesting part that I saw was you're killing those buildings plenty fast, even without K2, right? Is he, is, is he frozen for everybody or just me? No, he's, he's, he's stopped. I okay. thought he'd actually stopped. Okay. Say something, but obviously not. Oh, yeah, the timer in the is top. Is the timer going? Running. I can't see it. It's not, Mike. Yeah. Okay. No. Nah. Okay. 12.53. The time that will live in infamy. So uh, he well, was so going to give us all the tips, and kicks I cut the stream. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, I suppose this once TSM's finished, I can do the same because I got a different build on mine. I got the K two on it and the okay. damage diffusion. Okay, well, uh, fire it up because uh, um, kicks I got rid of him. He's he's no longer part of the feed. So go ahead, KP. And see if they snipe you. Yep, yep. You're next. You're next. Yep, you're right in the reticules. <laughs> so one of, one of the reasons I think Hicks wants you to use the damage diffusion system is obviously that the, the ship itself has got 20,000 built-in splash damage reduction. Mm-hmm. The damage diffusion has then obviously got 20,000. And then the armors that we haven't seen yet have each got a bit of damage, um, splash damage reduction built in as well. So I think they've obviously intended us to use that mechanic, but. Whenever I the, see the words splash damage reduction, we I know just it's think your favorite therapy. <laughs> total trash. Yeah. <laughs> have you got me? Yep, 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 you're up. Hello. It's obviously their intention, but as you say, I don't think they've got it right yet. And the fact that you have to stop just doesn't allow it yeah, to work. Yeah, really. I agree. It seems like the harbinger targets are more favorable towards that mechanic working than the line than the tuna fish targets. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, guys. It's all good. We assume that Kixai, uh, you know, Kixai you're, you're going to re reveal too many secrets, so Kixai is apt. It's you. my problem. My 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 internet provider at one a.m. in the morning always does his updates, and it was exactly that time. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. As frustrating as it is, it's done now, though. Okay. Well, we have uh, KB running through. Uh, yeah, yeah, got it. Seen. Yeah. He's got the damage diffusion and. Um, All right. Okay. K two on there. And then, are you running uh, hyper, yeah, damage diffusion, K2? Damage and... diffusion, yeah. And what's the uh, other special I don't one? know whether this is the way to, to do it or not. But yeah, I was you... taking those ones out, yeah, as well. Uh, uh, you do you have a CM away. special? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, oh, because you I can see the size of your CM ring is tiny, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not size that matters, it's how you use it, but <laughs> you can't use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> you tell whatever. yourself that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the little boys say. <laughs> all right. Man, so, uh, that... so KB, what's your what's your missile damage special? Is it wave pulse warheads or one of the lighter ones? Um I think it's one of the, the lighter ones. I'd have to have a I'd have to have a but a look. Yeah, yeah. because the way it, it all, war, war all has six armors fit, it, uh, it's it got to be the lethal strike warheads. Yeah. So, no, I've, no, no, I've no, got no. full, I've got full armors on uh, one, if not two. Is the new armor the same weight as what the other no, armor is? No, the, these are the um, Everest armors. Where where are these Everest armors? Oh, yeah, they're those are lighter. 
Yeah, that's the issue. I think you've got to be cautious because obviously you want to come to get in the real armors, which is nice because it gives you a three percent bonus damage, doesn't it, on each each one? And three percent times six in this game all, is higher than eighteen. Up. All adds up. <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> In this game, 3% times 6 is actually, let's see, 700, it's actually 19.4, not 18. So. It never makes sense, does it? But then again, apparently 40 times 8 is 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Glad, glad someone else is thinking about that. Abused me greatly, that did. My only conclusion is that the the um, surface we're on must not be a flat plane. It's got to be a. It's got to be um, concave. We we're, in, we're in. We're in the inside of a sphere. So that shit that was in the top uh, inner left, you can actually get it from the inside ring. I just did it. Just checked. I didn't think you could, but you can actually just reach it. So it saves going back up there and then going back down again, which I suppose does help a little bit because you haven't got to go and waste more time getting hit by halos. I don't know if there's any benefit like that. Well, is the target quick to complete? It's not. That's one of the things I was going to say. They commented that it's going to be a quick target, but it actually takes longer than the Everest targets. Probably because we only cause of the stop one thing at a time. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it may be as well that um, we're making the decision to try and minimise damage and go around the outside, whereas you could probably just charge straight into the middle. If if you autoed it, would it go straight in the gate rather than going around the outside? Okay, I'll well, try. one hour, one, hour, one minute, and uh... and that's it. And that's with yeah. that. Oops, what am I yeah. doing there? Oh, that looks uh, fun. That's like a <laughs> funny <laughs> so what, what sort of base is that? I haven't I haven't seen that uh that that picture you showed since uh, it's like those new design <laughs> things, is it? Yeah. We, that was like four yeah. four community managers ago. managers ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh <laughs> yep, that's the wave of the future, everybody. A new ship coming soon. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and we're gonna have the scourge one next. Any it day. was Reaver, actually. Reaver was number two. Um, yeah, so 20 yeah. minutes damage on two and 10 on the other two, roughly. Interesting yeah, it's not split evenly. Uh, well, that's because I've got armors on two and ah, right, armors okay. on the other two. Ah, that would explain it. So I got. So, so, I mean, so, your, so your Everest armors are basically splitting your damage? Yeah, well, they're that's... certainly helping. So how much is it on the ones with no armors? Uh, about 10 minutes each. With no armors or with yeah. armors? And 20 minutes on the other two. The with ones with armors. There was just over an hour's damage. So there was 40 minutes on the two unarmored ones and 20 oh, wow. minutes on oh, the right, two okay. armored ones. So, yeah, 20 minutes well, on each unarmored and 10 minutes on each armored. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it came out the opposite of what. Okay. Yeah, that's what I just thought. I was like, hang on. <laughs> yeah, I was trying yeah. to work that. So four, <laughs> so twenty minutes per ship, if the, if you've got no armor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one hour twenty. Yeah, forty minutes for two, and twenty yeah. minutes for two. Yeah, yeah. It's just because you. I mean, and that's the thing. Yeah. So you, you're betting double amount of damage because you've got no armor, basically. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's the way. So it's either one hour twenty or it's gonna be forty no, minutes if you're fully armored. Um if you've got four ships yeah, with no armor. Forty yeah, it'd be about one twenty, yeah. yeah. Be about one twenty. And if you've got ships with all armor, I'm just trying to get get it in my head so that if you armored them, you know, and you, you have the time to spend doing it, you're getting half the amount of damage that if you don't armor them. So you can yeah, do double that's the amount of very tempting. But it's double the amount of targets, isn't it? Yeah. And that's depending on, well, maybe you should have a crack again, TSM, and see what, <laughs> what your damage. Yeah, I mean, I was like crashed in the middle, didn't I? And I had to reset my internet, so the cut, it was still sitting in the target. But I got 113 just now. Um, but obviously, I had like two minutes of, well, probably about 60 seconds, actually, of, of no internet, which didn't really help. So I can, give, I can do it again. 
So that but I was thinking that about um, Hefe's just drive to the middle quickly and kill the halo, you know. It, it, yeah, if you want to yeah, share, well, that, um, I yeah. I'll put you back, you know, because no, it, we, you got, you started it and then you froze it. Uh, yeah, I apologize about that. Because that might it. sort of give some indications of which specials might be worth yes, better. Yes, yeah, yeah. If either. That's a good point. <laughs> Uh, right, here's one here. Uh, Josh is in my world as well. If he's on still watching, I know he's armoured his, and his build is very similar to mine, if not the same. So we could always just, I can, Josh, if you're listening, put a message and tell me where you are in sector chat. Or He definitely is, because there he is in the bottom corner here. Look. So yeah, because I've, I've just... I've just Jesus. burned a, a token, so I've got a, a repaired fleet, so I can try. Yeah, uh, because his is armoured and the build that I've got. Oh, here he goes. He's in sector twelve. Oh, that's really helpful. Yeah. Okay. Send me a sector twelve. Sector twelve. Where, where am I? Hang on a minute. Yeah. So see. I can do the do the bum rush as well. If uh, but it'd be good for a few of us to do, wouldn't we it? Because then we can. We can just have a comparison because, like I said, I know his is he's got four armored ones with the you know the Everest armors on. So, yeah, well, I wasn't sure what to do with uh, whether to do the countermeasures or the or the damage diffusion. And uh, to be honest, I wasn't sure what whether the countermeasures is going to be horribly important. And you know, if it's not killing off a lot of the drones or yeah, and I, I'm killing, I, let's, killing let's, some missiles. Well, what's the point of it? Apart from maybe the extra little bit on the reload. Yeah, I mean, all we need is Josh to give us a code, and then he can, or a you know, grid reference. If he can post me one, you can put it in the. Um, you put it in the global chat. If he does that in global chat, then it'll it'll come up, and I can just click on it. That would be quite handy. It's going to take a few seconds for it to yeah, relay it's through because of the delay time. The, uh, YouTube, yeah. Yeah. Been to see what his route is. He's done quite a few now because I know he's been doing quite a bit of trialing and that sort of stuff. So here we go. The power of the internet, you see. Okay, we're good. Uh, the specials I used was laser scope, wave pulse warheads, yeah, mm -hmm. garrison battery, capstone, damage diffusion, and K2. All right, yeah, so it's yeah, so it's the fairly so standard rend war that rend 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 using, yeah. then it's the last two that where the variance is. Okay, here we go then. Zoom in and I'll uh, Oh, he's going to bunker buster, I think. The... Yeah, he's just dropped it, yeah. Yeah, he's going to bunker buster it. So I was thinking about maybe you could well, pinch it, because you can stack so many pinches up. You only want like, like six or yeah, seven. Yeah, but you pretty and then much race got to... round. Yeah, you've got to go around the whole lot of it to get to get to that uh well you can enter here can't you? It, don't you oh yeah i suppose you can go in go so if you could kill all this because cool. you can get him from the outside from in here you can just reach him so you could wipe up all this go around to there pinch it what 23 25 seconds burst in round as long as you get into there and you just got to sit about here and you can then kill it off hopefully i don't know how much damage you can get driving past everything else. Just, no idea because obviously you'll be submerged and you can't fire Okay, why is he sat there? Oh, he's over there. <laughs> I'm getting a bit of lag. So he's just focusing, obviously, initially on the looks like just the um, the rockets. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it was lag here, Tim. I think it's just because he surfed. We, we can't. Yeah, underwater. And what I see is, is um, yeah, because it's look, it's just fired over there, and yet he's down over here now because yeah. that's where the rockets firing. So that they're firing, but are they actually? Oh, I can't see his obviously retreat button. So no, the one are, thing I do they hit notice. you underwater? 
Ah, uh, yes, yes. You take fifty percent of the damage right. whilst okay. you're submerged. But one thing I noticed is that if you can time your surface somewhere right, when the the rockets shoot at you, it, there's a bit of a lag between the reload. So if you can surface at the right time, yeah, like yeah. Josh, if he yeah. just did then, yeah, Josh yeah. just did yeah. then, yeah, you Got can it. kill him and. Uh, I suppose the same for UAVs, possibly. Do they hit subsurface um, as well or not? I'm not sure. No, I think they'll. I think they'll have a crack at you, whether you're submerged or not. Because that's a good five or six seconds there before it. Oh, hang on, he's back up there now. <laughs> this is awkward. Look at his damage in the top corner there. Actually, his damage is pretty low. I know he's not that far into the target yet, but yeah. But I think that halo does a fair bit of the yeah the damage. I'm going to go and grab a pinch and, and see if we can try that pinch method in a minute. See, see those. Uh, so he's doing UAVs, that split thing. Yeah, he's doing that split yeah, thing. But the UAVs were hitting him whilst he was submerged, too. Mm, mm. So he's waiting for the fire. Looks, he's only getting half damage and then he's going to pull forward, I take it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So. That's definitely worthwhile doing. What's this ship called down here again? Can anybody remember? It's quite an old one, isn't it? Saturn? Saturn? Saturn's, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Is, is there Saturn? I'm, yeah, yeah. So so there you go. So he's split. So he's done a three stack and a single stack. Like I said, then you're only taking damage, apart from we don't know what the splash radius is on those rockets. Neptune, Josh says. Ah, yeah, probably yeah. is actually... Yeah, in fact, yeah, it's older than... Well, yeah, I can't it see it because you killed it. Look for the outline. There you go. <laughs> no, you're right. It is Neptune, isn't it? I don't know why the outline's on the land, but whatever. Maybe it's drifting. <laughs> you're a landlubber. <laughs> and this one up front here, what's what's this one? A, a Tempest or a... No. No, no, no it's quite a recent one. That, well, recent. Probably three-year-old. No, that's it? not recent. No way. Yeah, it's about three year old, isn't it? I've got some of those. I can't no way. Cool, I don't know. Time flies, you know. But isn't a soul chip? It is. I I know what it looks like, but let me see. I don't think I own it. Yeah, I've got one. I forgot what it's called. Hey, that's good. Right. So just Josh, if you can just oh, post the time for that in. Um, a personal chat that'd be quite good. Is that a liberator? Oh, it's something along that, isn't it? Oh, it's one of those, one of those conqueror guys, isn't it? What's he got damage wise? i be sending it on my phone or we're we'll resending it. Well, you, you do have a message, yeah. So it's just pinged, yeah, it just pinged and the there we go 25 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, okay, let me just go back in doc and see if I've got um, it's thanks, uh, mate. thanks, Josh. Hurricane. Hurricane, is it? Didn't look much of a hurricane to me. <laughs> no, it's the Monarch, isn't it? Uh, Monarch, I, I think it probably I'm is. Looking at, I'm looking at Poseidon's hurricane, and it looks... Go to... Um... Holes. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to quickly... Garrison Holes Derpy, there's a Monarch. Yeah, it's a, could that's a that. Garrison? Yeah, it's a Monarch, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because uh, that, that was happening when I wasn't playing, which is how I knew I it wasn't... I didn't have it, and I didn't know and what it was. And that would make sense. I guess it's in a garrison target, so. And then, yeah, Josh is right. The Neptune would be the other one, because that's a garrison mm. hole as well. Mm. Right, okay. Let's just see if I can do it without uh, crashing it. Thanks, Josh, by the way. That's good. Oh, someone's in this one now. <laughs> and how long do those bunker bun busters take to build? They're about... So they're about two hours. Oh, no, no they, the level fives are really quick, aren't they? Well, relative to like the level fours, yeah. Compared to the level fours, yeah, they're really, really quite cool. Obviously, obviously, depends if you've got crews and, and all that sort of stuff, you know, and the, all the officers, I mean, and that sort of stuff, you know. Um, mm -hmm. You can zoom out a second and have a little look. Uh, here we go, there's one here. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> Right here. One hour and thirty-six minutes or twenty-five. I'm confused now. No, it was definitely not that long. 
Yeah. Oh, that's the build. He's approaching oh, that's oh, his the build, build time. Build, build time on the uh, on the rocket. Yeah, I know they're really quick. They're considerably yeah, one, less. Oh, Forty-eight. That's for a, a max bunker buster. <laughs> All right. A five. Do you have a friend on your uh, on your launch pad? That could be the uh, probably. Yeah, that makes a difference. About um, I can't remember what the percentage. Ten, 10%, is, but, ten percent. Yeah. 10, yeah. 10 yeah. So. Right, remind me to use the rocket. <laughs> can you use the rocket? I was going to take it. Yeah, you can, obviously. Cause well, yeah, I've seen a lot of people, even an, Ori or an Orion rocket member, do a damage deal. I'm not sure about pinch. Are you using a pinch or are you using a bunker buster? I'm going to try the pinch this time. So I'm going to enter in this gate here, mm -hmm. clean up this stuff along here, and run the corner here, then bust that gate, and then go in with a, with a, a pinch and hopefully see if I can get to around the corner. Just out of interest because it's something different. Is it a long... Uh, the long pin. Yeah, the longest presumably. one with 20, 28, whatever 28 it is. Yeah. second. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try that and see if, you, it's, uh, see if I can get it. want to bet that it's 100% uh, stun immune? Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> and the oh. ladies prefer the uh, the short, quick pinches. Just to be <laughs> uh, let me just um, click on that a second. <clears throat> Man, this target is not fast paced. No, but it is all good. If it if it is designed to be automatic and we can get on with other things, then I'm not that bothered. Because I just order the FM targets anyway, so it's it's probably built for lazy kids like me. This short range sucks. Like yeah. you can't even shoot over a land tile, what the hell? This is not garrison, this is a assault skirmish hybrid. Well, this is designed so that you're gonna take damage, isn't it? Yeah, true. At least it's not it's, like it's, that one. Yeah, go ahead. It just, it just seems complicated by the whole submarine mechanic. I mean, if if, if you're gonna have at least, you know, I wanted gluttonies. The, That's what I wanted. A modern gluttony. Back, That's what I was hoping for. But back in the good old days, if you're gonna have something that's supposed to be an auto haul, what you, you want it to be fast. You want it to have rockets and just zoom along and just blow every shit. We want flames of fire. We want under, underwater flamethrowers. That's what we want. Yeah, yeah. But this is, it's an odd, mecha odd mechanic. All right. The long, uh, the Not big so long. long pinch. Well, you could probably start buddy going, couldn't you? Go now. I, was, I would have nearly sort of looked at trying to go before the, as soon as you launched it, at least that way it give you get you halfway down the buddy. twenty. What have we got? Twenty eight seconds. Yeah. In theory, I've just got to wait for this gate to come up. That's the thing, isn't it? I mean, I'm well past it. I'm I've got no armors. That's the only thing. Yeah, and it could, might have made more sense to bust that from the outside, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm just. <clears throat> Make it. No, oh, so that one's firing at me now, but it's only that one. I don't know what the actual time was beforehand. <laughs> you know, as in not doing it. You can't get that ship. That's annoying, isn't it? Back outside. That's not so good. Which, when you drive by, you can't get them, can you? Because obviously you're surfaced. Mm. Well, you're not surfaced, so this thing next, I think, is probably the priority. Wait. So uh, I got really distracted. Did the pinch work? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Made it. I don't know how much time I have to spare, but I definitely made it. I think well, more damage. we in the, um, the first effort target, we had two heavy turrets. We started pinching one, so they put eight in the next one. <laughs> yes, do you remember that? <clears throat> and, and, you know, how it works relative to the bunker buster is... Well, it's not going to be as good, is it? Because the bunker buster took everything out of the center, though, didn't it? So... Yeah. Uh, I mean, clearly, though, look, Penetrative has gone down there. 
because that yeah. was up here last time and in ratio to to explosive so uh yeah it didn't save me anything i think i had a 113 i think it was last time yeah, it's chopped a little bit of time off yeah it has chopped a little bit obviously there's no armors but but then yeah. the the long pinch takes a it's a bit more than a 15 minute build too isn't it yeah, yeah, because there's, I mean, the, mind you saying that, the, the, I mean, you might get away with the other one, but it only takes 15 minutes, because that's still about 20 seconds, isn't it? You might, I mean, I don't know, to be honest. The thing is, I mean, if you're only using them once a week, then it's not exactly in the world, I suppose, because they don't really cost a great deal to... Well, the big know. difference is you can get 25 of the, uh, you can get 25 long pinches, mm -hmm. and you can get five bunker busters, so that's... So, so that's 108. <laughs> What was it? One forty, you were saying? No, sorry, one twenty, wasn't it? One twenty. One twenty, roughly. If they were yeah. going to be um, without armor, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's not much difference, is there? To be honest. No, well, yeah. you you seem you kill the ships a bit quicker than what I do, and that's probably because of the uh, extra reload, maybe on the counter measure. Or well, high-speed yeah. missile jets. Well, high-speed missile jets as well. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it's the it's the building damage mixed with the because it's only three volleys, isn't it? So building damage mixed with the extra reload, I think, is what's probably. Do. There's a bit more pen damage with the with the missile jets as well. The missile jets is another thirty-five percent. Um, so that should kill the ships quicker, but then you lose a little bit because you've only got the eighty percent instead mm. of the two hundred on the the K two. So yeah. Yeah, and I still think it's too early to. Like I was saying with Ren, um, when he was doing his as well, it's. I mean, it doesn't actually matter because we all know that all the specials are going to have to change over the period of time anyway. So yeah, they're going to release one more, and it might be something that conflicts with building damage. Yeah, or it might be an engine, or they're going to do an engine and There's something, an engine. No, and something no, else, right? They're, they're going to release more than one more. I think they said they're, yeah, they're going to do an engine and one other, right? No, they're going to do a. Is, they're going to really? do a mystery special in September, and they're going to do another mystery special in early 2022. And one of those is going to be an engine. Well, uh, no, no. And then November no, 8, so, there's no. going to be an engine. Oh, so there's at least three specials coming. Yeah. I think we're, we're, we're fussing about something that um, doesn't really matter, but we're still going to get the 186 target, so you still be able to use your Everest for months yet. Yeah. But, but the big issue that I see is not really the FM targets, it's pillage. Yes, I want totally to auto great. pillage. I Which want is why I'm focusing on these as opposed to going. Oh yeah, I can do this with, with X. I can do this with Y. I want to try and get yeah, these at least yeah, so sure they can do this with photons or Everest or whatever the hell. But yeah, pillage is coming up in like two weeks. And if they if they neutralize us. And, and stop, you know, which they could quite easily do it by by a ship multiplier, and say actually this is only for tier ten point five and above. And everyone else is pocket. Yeah, because I, you know, uh, you know, the FM people can grind away and do whatever, but pillage is. Uh, I consider pillage to be the the real decider as far as uh, what you're going to do with your lionfish. <laughs> That was why I was doing that thing where you stop start so they don't count the, go under the water. So you haven't got to wait that two seconds. Well, to be honest, at the moment, with the 162 still there, you get less damage. Okay, it takes longer. But you can auto that for about 15 minutes damage. Yeah. Get 10,500 ah. points. And, uh... well, I think these things will come quite decent in about two months' time. Because you know, it's, it's a year long hull, isn't it? So, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You don't two months to get them sorted, ten months to use them. I figure they'll be decent by the time we get get, get enough armor for them, but they'll, they'll but they'll keep upgrading the. You know, I mean, you know, this target, this this target will be the lowest level target it's going to be. So, yeah, we'll look. Yeah, but the will do more damage, and the buddy oh, rockets will do turret. more damage. Yeah, and. and What's going to happen with the upgrades? Are they going to? Uh, my fear, or my, I'm not sure. I want to call it a fear, but what what's going to happen with the uh, the 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 range debuff? Is yeah. It, well, are, are we going to get more range at uh, you know an aura? Nice the flagship brought it. 
if a, if a flagship or U3, I don't know. And maybe that's the way that they're, they're making sure that they can. I mean, nearly everything that's scripted in this, the countermeasures, you can't put extra countermeasures Ooh. on. You can't do a great deal to the countermeasures apart from a bit of range and a bit of. Well, you can actually, yeah. It's just the volume of countermeasures you can't change. Everything else seems okay. Um, but yeah, but the the, the negative range. I, mean, I, I never quite understand this negative range issue. You know, just do well, a weapon with less distance. For a missile ship. It doesn't make yeah. sense, does it? It's sort of no, future the only, the only sense is that if it had the proper bloody distance, as you might get rid of the the rocket turrets a bit quicker. That's yeah, more but, 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 but I think what uh, TSM saying is why why not create the rocket with a or the missile with a range of forty something, then you can boost it to sixty eight. You so know, that was what I mean? one hour five there. With no rocket. So you got uh, less, damage. less damage without using a rocket. Well, yeah, I think you had an hour and eight. what was it? Hour and hour and eight. Yeah, it was. Okay, so you chopped three minutes off of there. It took and you a little rocket. while to uh, get in, kill one of the rockets at one stage. You sat under the, mm. that uh, too much for a little bit of time. Yeah, I think so that's the wrong thing. Yeah, possibly, yeah. But the build seems okay, you know, for no armors. And, and I don't think anybody, you know, obviously, I think if you sort of, uh, because all you got to do, as you've said there, is is surface and it's actually then hitting you or surface after it's finished firing you and letting it just take the 50% damage instead. That's the difference between having the right special and the wrong special already just in one target. And you do that. Oh, hello, I'm under attack. Should we watch it? That'd be funny. Uh-oh. Derpy's hitting you? Well, it could be. I, I, bl I blame Derpy. Somebody did it earlier on and didn't go so well, so somebody else is doing it now. I have no idea who this is. Who's this here? Go on. Let him have his moment. They're probably a total up. wanker. <laughs> <laughs> it, sounds like, it sounded more and more like Derpy. <laughs> He's probably a total wanker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't well, tell from my display. Is, is it Derpy? <laughs> It is Derpy. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> I'll even get a bubble roll or whatever. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting in. I don't know, mate. <laughs> I don't even know we're in the same world, even. Are, are you going to share the screen? Yeah, Derpy? of course I will. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Well, well, yeah I was going to say. He's in. He's in. He's got to be no, in short. No, I'm not. No way. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be bloody close, though, isn't it? I got, I, I got to the last portal. I didn't oh, get it did. down, but I got there. You got better than the last guy because he got didn't get past this, didn't get past here with his fleet. But now I've got now I've got two abominations with not that great of aid against three of those, can, of those cannons and yeah, those are not they're not going anywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> Bum, 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 bum. Stop cheating, you kid. <laughs> Should have rocket. <laughs> well, watch where the rocket lands. It's going to be real important. <laughs> He's just randomly sending it anywhere. <laughs> uh, is he, is he going to pinch your dock? <laughs> no, he can't because I've got the count. I've got the new special on it, so it's not going to. I rocketed his dock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the frustration rocket. I know. I remember those days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, enjoy your medals. <laughs> oh whatever. I don't care about them anyway, mate. <laughs> Why well, you just got ten more? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was quite funny. Oh, I didn't even know that was the name of your alliance. I had no idea. <laughs> All right. right. Um, that was fun. Yep. Uh, is there anything else we should be uh, discussing at this point, or should we wind it up? I would just say, basically, don't get hooked up on specials at the moment. It really doesn't matter. You know, I think there's two or three options out there. They all seem to be roughly as good as each other give or take a little bit of bad driving and and you know as you saw there if you if you don't stop in the right places at the right time the specials ain't going to help you it's going to be a case of drive 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 and if and if you are going to auto then possibly consider if the account measures are going to work something that's going to help them yeah but if not going to work then don't... the real dividing line that i see is the the, the uh DDS two the, the damage diffusion system mm. 
too is because it also you know like i said it makes it overweight for a lot of builds and does it work and then that's because it throws a huge twenty thousand whatever number out out at you but it does it work and that that's uh i think a lot what a lot of people are worried about I and must admit, most of the stuff in there, mate, as well, is um, it seems to be area effect damage. So I don't think evade's going to help us a great deal, to be honest, either. So, mm. you know, people think about, oh, yeah, Hyper 30, that's the one to go. Well, great for the speed, but I don't think the evade's doing you any favors. Yeah, I was I was thinking about Hyper 30 until I realized, hold on, we're just going to have to stop anyway, so you can't yeah. really outrun stuff. What like, I think KB really didn't bring that up or was saying, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so I mean, there are other options for speeding up on, isn't there as well? So, but but wait, mm. so always do your ship build with, I mean, and maybe that's why they've put it in there, even though we can't collect it for quite some time yet. And, and the armors, because obviously they are quite heavy. Yeah, no, 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 they blame me. The, the, yeah, they were not happy that the uh, the armors were out there. Oh, I really? Got, I got blamed for some, you know, like that I had like invented. Like, it's, it's, it's it's fucking live in the game, and they're like, "Oh, really?" Like, you know, they thought you know. But it's helpful for the building, you know, because then oh, you no, know no, then it, how much spare to have. Need, I completely agree. It needs to be there mm. so people can com make complete builds. Otherwise, they don't know the the weight of the armors in the future. And then they're like, yeah, "Okay, wait, I put damage diffusion system two on there, and then." Now I can't. Now I need to completely rework my build, and that's going to upset a lot of people, right? Absolutely, yeah. So something yeah, with is the fixed. Old, with the old armors on there, I've still got. Um, well, I've, the total weight's one hundred five two six four, and you got one twenty. Let me look at mine. Hang on. Uh, so I think you find if you try and put all new armors on, you go over weight by a couple of thousand. Let me have a look. Yeah, uh, yeah. With well, the damage diffusion system, you go over, you go well, over for no, pretty much any good build. No That's doubt, you could. Uh, so, so my build is a half and half type of thing. So my I, build I is eleven. Just... Yeah, mine's eleven. Eleven out of the. Sorry, one hundred and ten thousand out of the hundred twenty thousand, with the new armors on. Yeah. So I've got ten thousand. So what? What are the the two specials you got different um, is the countermeasure and what do you got instead of K2? He's got high speed missile jets. Yeah, high speed missile jets, mate. But damage diffusion two is the that's the big what, yeah, that, that's what's causing the weight. Problem. That's the heavy thing, isn't it? The, yeah, yeah. yeah it's got like but a, uh, one suspects that they might change that special with, for something uh, else, hopefully. with an upgrade is play around with the weight allocation maybe and that's the thing mate it's too early to tell isn't it we just don't know too. you've lost nothing because it's free to take off as herfie was saying and ron so yeah. for why not if, if you're happy with it and i think anybody should just go do you know what i'm happy with what i've got because not everyone's got all the specials i know i was talking you know I was, I was talking to a couple of people this week you know oh, i haven't got this special what were they go down to the, this one instead you know it's close enough and, and all you got to do is do one little bit about driving, and actually you, you've lost nothing because actually you can blame your driving now instead. Because, you know, it's, it, as I said, you know, letting those rockets fire while you're subsurface, as you saw there, 50% damage, or surface, and then they fire at you 100% damage. You know, do that twice, and and doesn't matter what special you're going to use, you've just wasted your time anyway worrying about it. So it, it's, it's, it's just semantics at the moment, as far as I'm concerned. People are just getting too het up on it. It's got to be this special and that special. And as you've said, Effie, three of the damn things are going to change anyway over the coming months. So do you know what? So what? Who and cares? The, What's the difference between the specials is probably a couple of minutes damage here or there anyway. Well, it seems to be about 5% roughly, yeah. you know. The, the biggest difference is when the armors come out, because, I mean, this thing is the damage I've got here is 164,220. Yep. with the armors fitted and i take the armors off and it's one hundred thirty-seven thousand five hundred, just because of those new armors that are coming mm. that's going to be the biggest change well and and the armors give you quite a lot of um survival where you start very yeah. low we only start with like six thousand survival and each one gives you another fifteen thousand so and then we get them we start upgrading them as well and that sort of stuff so it's all going to change anyway so i i just think you know and obviously then you're going to go for limited weapons later as well that's bound to happen as well so this this at the moment this uh you know the 
bone spike, whatever it's called, is it missile, whatever it is? Yeah. That's going to get changed for a limited weapon. That's bound to happen as well. Because I mean, they've got to yeah, do something well, they, every year. They're just going to drip them out like they did with hmm. the Everest avalanche yeah. mortar or whatever it was called. The, the point is, at least, at least we can use. You know, we're using some tier six, you know, uh, specials and that sort of stuff. You know, some things are tier nine. Yeah, I get that. You know, or well, most things are tier nine, but it's some tier eight stuff in there. You know, I saw a tier seven and somebody with a tier seven item on there and stuff. So at least there's some variable options. You know. To, to get things kicked off, you know, and some of the things you can recycle from your Everest as well, which is quite nice, and some of your previous um, holes. So, I just still think it's quite odd that it's a garrison scourge submerged submarine with missiles that only fire when you're stationary and right. above the water. Yeah, <laughs> just what <laughs> you and everyone else but the kickside dev who made it, apparently. <laughs> I think it should be UAVs firing flames, that's what it should be. <laughs> but anyway, not to worry. It's fun. Right, that's it, done. The missile jets are limited or non-limited? Non it's regular, normal. They're hidden in the middle somewhere. Yeah, they are. They're in an unusual place, mate. I, mean, I would go taking the specials off if you've already put them on there, mate. Just, just stick with what you've got. No, I'm, I'm going to keep with it at this point yeah. in time, unless... Unless something shows that it's completely no, buggered. Because with the K2 that you... You said you got K2. Yeah, I'm getting you? the extra building damage. You've got the extra but, building damage, absolutely. Um, what have I got for building damage? Um, You'll be at 1,800% or something like that, I'm I think. a bit more than that, I think. Oh, yeah? <laughs> uh, oh, no, 1,781. Yeah, he's well, going back, is he? If you go the other way, you, you're down to about um, just over a thousand, but you get an, you get a bump up in your pendrive damage, obviously. So, so is anybody doing these um, TLCs? Well, at all? we talked about unstoppable horror, and that's you know not not the Titanic. And it is you know, a horror. Saying, not doing this one. Oh, have you, actually, TSM, have Titanic you tried unstoppable mm -hmm. horror with your lionfish now or not? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Because that would be the test to see, because it's pretty nasty with your Everest. What's the what's the repair on these things? Hang on, mate. Let's have a look. We could have a laugh, couldn't we? I suppose if you wanted to. I don't really mind. Unstoppable horror. Well, they'd be twelve hours a piece, wouldn't they? Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's not good. Uh, a... I'm sorry. Oh, go no. ahead, Gibby. No, it's all right. No, no. I was just saying it's I not. I was it's... thinking the armor was going to add to it, but the armor doesn't, does it? No. Yeah. Well, they're ranked now, at least. So there you go. Just for your coin, five coins. There you go. TSM, I'm, I think I'm going for your same um, your same linefish build, the same one you're running. I I just I'm in target right now, and I tried a uh, one without a countermeasure special, one with mm. the one without. Its projectile speed's too low, and the range is too low for it to work well. So you got to go with the countermeasure range extender. But then is it is the nozzles one going to be the one to go for? And, no, I, and I don't know, no, to be honest. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I quite like Cat Measure 4, which is bizarre, but it always does seem to be your friend. You know, it's one of those ones you just fall back on sometimes. Mm -hmm. What's in this? What is this target? What does your wife think about this? So these these are FM. These are <laughs> FM targets. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you are about you falling back on the yeah. on the countermeasure <laughs> later special? Oh right, it's your first. Yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry. It's all good. Oh, I see. Are oh yeah, because it's because it's garrison targets. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are the countermeasures actually doing a lot? They're not doing no a lot idea. now. I, I I couldn't see it with like I I got a couple of the UAVs, but that's that's about all that seemed to happen. Oh Jesus, that's horrible. you know any of the missile stuff that was right, uh, get out of <laughs> yeah. Look at the damage here. Look, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm going to go sleep in a minute, so I'll just keep going until they die. So can they make one single target? But I've got no armor, so. The good thing about the Everest is they splash the crap out of everything, don't they? So whereas yeah. this is, whilst I can fire over, over mountains and stuff. But... Yeah, but that's the trouble is that the and range on them. Terrible. 
won't yeah. be good enough to fire over the mountains to get to some of the bloody turrets in any case. So I reckon this is going to be better to split these up. Because well, I guess the other getting... thing is we got our over is fully ranked, as, uh, fully upgraded as well, haven't we? So we got a huge amount of survival from that. Yeah. So yeah. if uh, if someone, definitely not me, but someone, uh, was 30 flagship Dark Herald Harbinger upgrade kit short, is there any way to get those? No. 30? I don't 30. believe so. I don't yeah, know why yeah. I'm short by 30. But... I made that mistake a few... Um... I did on the last. I did it on cycle ago, yeah, as well. I did the same thing. I made a complete pull up of it, and I was short. You probably just bought a fifty-one rather than. Uh... I was short. Well, you can't even kaching because you can't get them. So if you get, you haven't got the um, the parts. Oh, you can't yeah, do the upgrade. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, and that was a problem. I was short. Oh yeah, but they're they're still flogging upgrades and stuff. Well, there's like Dark Herald upgrade kits. I can buy a hundred of them for ten dollars. <laughs> right. Hey. I wouldn't bother. But I haven't spent money on this game in a year and a half. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> well, whatever. And I've got 500 coins in my account. Down to 500. Uh, and, and, and then I've also been, you know, sort of shopping for somebody else as far as, you know, Vinefish uh, build tokens. Uh, I could have got we, you your whole fleet for, uh, for, for $15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was waiting for the TLCs. Now the know. TLCs are worse than the gold deal though. Oh oh were they? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it could be because we we did get uh we got agreement from uh, you know Kickside that they would you know you could buy a t uh time limited offer and they would uh transfer it to me. So a fully ranked, almost fully fitted lionfish can't do one target. Can't do one target. It's, yeah, that's uh, interesting. That's, that's helpful, isn't it? Yes, doesn't their blurb say it's four lionfish as well as Everest? It does. It says Everest or lionfish. Yes, correct. Well, I think and and yeah, Everest and lionfish, and that's that was the weird part where I thought they were going to change the targets. Like well, obviously, I'm not. I'm not being particularly sort of like you know. I'm just let it do its own thing, really. I'm not <laughs> picked on any particular piece of it, but I'm not going to be able to finish the target. No. Is this going to die? I mean, be close, but it's still going to die. It's, it's got not very really helpful when when you get to mastery. You have got seven targets to do. <laughs> well, I'm not going to make this target. So. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Dead. <laughs> Two things left. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There you go. So it might be for lionfish, but you've got to armor them. <laughs> Cause, uh, well, even was... armors wouldn't wouldn't have helped that much. I think they get completely over. It's all right. It's only twenty. Oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> 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 it's only twenty dollars. So yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See ya. I'm not doing. The... I'm not doing it anyway. There's nothing in there I want. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, later. Yeah, this is, this is probably one of the worst TLCs we've seen recently, right? Yeah. Awful. Yeah. yeah. Anybody well, goes into that is in completely depressed. To auto it for uh, in base repair. So you can go and auto it if you want to. If you want to go and spend a whole lot of money, build up a set of lionfish, and then obviously coin it all the way through it. It only costs no, you about four hundred. I'm, I'm even. I'm just talking <laughs> Everest. Alrighty. You know, because the previous Everest TLCs, mm. you know, you could auto them for at worst in base instant repair these aren't going to be fun to fix when the flagship's in are they look at the cost of that yeah jeez no, uh, and, and you don't, you don't have armor and the armor's gonna no yeah, exactly the armor's, armor's not here yet one second or something or other yeah, yeah. The armor, the unless you're armor. using Three more some armors. of the evade armors yeah so all right, uh, we're we've gone for an hour and forty six minutes. Um, what? Anything else we need to talk about? Or uh... Uh, no? Okay, totally well. good. I think. All right. Well, we will see you all on Wednesday. Thanks for showing up, uh, Josh. Uh, you know, thanks for uh, letting uh, you know TSM spy on you. <laughs> see what, what was going on there 
and that, that that was nice and uh thank you to everybody that wants to show up on uh you know participate you know that's what friday is about is everybody wants to participate you know across the world talk about battle parts and see what happens so uh i thank you all for that and um we'll see you on wednesday and uh thanks a lot and we'll we'll see you then later people good, Bye, Bye. good night